This is the plaintiff, Jane Collins. She says she helped the defendant out in her time of need and gave her, her family, and her cats and dog a place to live while they got back on their feet. The woman, her unruly kids, and pets overstayed their welcome. The cats peed on her belongings, ruining them. And she's here seeking the reimbursement of the $1,546.36 worth of stuff that was ruined and rent. This is the defendant, Tierica Denning. She says it was a horrible situation from the get-go living with the plaintiff, and she can't believe the woman has the audacity to sue her in court for rent when there was never any agreement about her paying to live there. Besides, the plaintiff has 12 cats with kittens, and she's trying to pin the blame for cat smells on her? That's funny. She's accused of smelling up the joint. The defendant has filed a countersuit for $649.13 for a missing flash drive and car key. All parties, please use your right hand. Be seated, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. Janine Collins, you are suing Tierica Denning for $1,546.30 in damages that you say she and her children committed while they were living with you. And you have a counterclaim against her for a flash drive that you say she is withholding from you. Tell me what's going on. Back in uh, last year, summer of 2016, um, later, middle part of July, I received a text message from her oldest daughter, Amari, asking if she can stay in my dwelling. Are you Amari? And, okay. Uh, and asked if she can go to school from my house because she no longer wanted to attend her current high school. So I agree, and I said, yes, yeah, she can come stay at my house, and she Wait, can go Wait, how to did you guys know each other? I met uh, Tierica back in 2004 at a beauty supply store. I thought her girls were cute, and we just kind of, be, you know, became associates from that point on. Okay. Sometimes I would help her out with the kids, um, bring groceries, buy shoes, clothes, whatever, because she was a single mom struggling, and I would help her out from time to time with her girls. Okay, so her daughter called you and she, said, mm -hmm. I don't want to go to the school I'm going to. Can I She live wanted with you? to go to my, my local high school, and I said yes. Wait, did you talk to Tierica before you said yes? I, we, we had a conversation with Tierica. Tierica agreed to let her come. Okay. A couple of, maybe a couple of weeks later, she had got a notice from her leasing office saying that she was not allowed to renew her lease, and she had it to leave by August the 1st. So Tierica and her three girls and her three cats and her dog moved out of their two-bedroom apartment. So you opened the door not just to the older daughter, but to everybody? I opened the door initially up to the oldest daughter. The next day, the, three, the dog came. Then the next day, the cats came. And then the next day, they all were there. And what day did, they, did she come in? August the 1st. OK, when and so when? When did grandmother. she finally leave? She finally left. Uh, it was September. It was the day before Amari's birthday. It was September the 6th, I okay. think it was. Now, uh -huh. how did it come to pass that she and everybody, m most okay. everybody, moved so out? So I have, I have a lot of cats. I, at the time, I had eight. And they, I had, yes, I had, we have it. The, it was, I had a rule. Shut the door behind you so the cats don't get out. And as you can see, they're not little. They're not five. But my five-year-old can I, did, I just have one, one of your children here, right? And this is your eldest. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Yes. And then the okay. other ones are how old? 16, 14. They're not, they're not small. But they would, they would leave the door open while they go let their dog wander. And so my cat would get out. So you realize that they have left, that, they let, that the cat got out. And do you ask them to look for the cat? I asked, I asked the, the middle one who let her out, who kept letting her out. I asked her, I didn't ask, I told her to go look for the cat. And what did she say? You can't tell me what to do. I'm not doing nothing. And I said, get off my property, go look for the cat. So she stood in the middle of the street. She said, now I'm not on your property. Ooh, okay. Yes. So I said, you're going to make me catch a case. I said, that's what's about to happen. I said, I'm about to catch a case. What does that mean? That I means I, I was about to catch a case. No, what does that mean? I mean, she's about, she's about to act up and do something that may have... Oh, catch a criminal yeah, case. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, you're yeah, going to yeah. get charged criminally. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that makes yeah. perfect sense. I got it. Yeah. All right, you're, I'm about to catch a case. All right, and then what happens? So I, I shut my front door. I went back upstairs. Because at the time, I worked from home, so I was working. So I had to wait for my shift was over. By the time I came back downstairs, I said, that's it, y'all. They got to go. 
because this is not the first time. Actually, that... you told her Amari could stay, but the rest of you have to go. Mm -hmm. Right. Because you were still getting along with Amari. Amari. Amari has always been kind. She's always been manable. She's never disrespected me. And actually, Amari was coming to my house to get, get away from them. So, um, according to you, during the time that they lived there, they created uh, $1,546. I've had, they would leave in the morning. They wouldn't walk their dog. The dog with feces urinate on my carpet. They wouldn't clean after the cats. The cats, uh, you know, cat, they urinate where, if they start clean. So, tell me what they damaged. According to you, one of the children damaged your child's recliner. Mm hmm All right. What did they do to the air mattress? It, it got a hole in it. It had a major okay. leak. All right, who, how did, the, why did they have to pay for it? Well, how did the leak happen? Amari was sleeping on the mattress in the room. And I don't know exactly what they did to break it. Okay. The only Do you have them, a picture of the mattress so I can see how I it's broken? I, I did not have a picture of the mattress because it's just, it's just. Do you have the mattress to show me so I can see a hole in it? You want me? No, I could I want proof. Is I, I don't care how you do it. You could show me a picture of the mattress. You could show me a picture of the hole. No, you I could, did not take right, a picture that, of the mattress. That's called proof. Just, it's not I, that. I it's not that unusual a request. All right, the mattress, the cat care, because according to you, they left the cat. They left, and then they left how I many told cats? Her I told her repeatedly, "Come get your pets out my house." How many cats? Her three cats and her one dog. Oh, they left all the pets. She she came eventually and got the dog, but she left the three cats because she still didn't have a place to go. Okay. And um, the third time I asked her, she called or she went down to our local sheriff department and put a restraining order on me. And we went to court. And, of course, that was thrown out because she didn't have no merit. But the judge ordered her to come pick up the cats on October the 4th. And did she? Yeah, she did. Okay. So you want $450 yes. for cat care. How do you come up with that figure? On an average, it, on an average in our area, it is about thirty-four dollars and ninety-nine cents for boarding of a, of an animal. Now I, I'm just being nice. I mean the cats. I mean I guess I got up every day. I cleaned that cat litter box. I fed them twice a day. I, I you know I took care of them in her in in her absence. Okay. Um, I need the receipts for carpet cleaning and any pictures that you may have for proof of seven hundred dollars for a broken couch. I I'm going to need any I, proof you have. Okay, and while you're looking for that, let me hear from you, T. Erica. So now, what I want to understand is she's suing you for all of this money because she says that while you were there, there was a lot of, of havoc wreaked um, and that your kids did some damage. Is that true or untrue? Untrue. Oh, God. Okay. Well, you yourself say that they broke the recliner, didn't you? It's a toddler recliner. I have right. teenagers. The child's okay. recliner. And I agreed to pay for those the because I really okay. want it to be done. And I, they were stating that Janine was just... The two younger ones, because she showed preferential treatment to my older one. Why do you suppose that is? I felt like she was grooming my child to work as an escort for what? her. Her Are job, you serious? she has a website where she traffics women. Are you serious? Women. Yes, I'm serious. And there's an investigator. After I found out about mm -hmm. that, I spoke to, who is now a judge. Don't you think you should know about that before you allow your child I to move in with her? I have known her? her since this one so started So how did you school. find out about what you're saying? This is the business her and her girlfriend were in when I met her when if they were in elementary. If you know that, Wendy, and you meet her when your children are little, why would you then have your 18-year-old move in there? This was 10 years later, and she looks like a soccer mom now. She doesn't look like what she looked then when she was doing that. Did so, you ever talk to her before sending your 18? I 18? did. She said, you know, of course she said that she has a daughter. Her daughter's dad is a dentist, and her child supports four grand. Janine does not work. She goes to school, and she mans her website. Really? Do that you is... have a website? No, ma'am, I yeah, don't. Yes, she does. And I can pull up my Bank of America statements right now. I drive for Uber. What's going on? And I What's going like, on? Um, What's going on? I'm... Yeah, I'm asking you. Is... That's who I'm asking. Um... Did you ha ever see any evidence of what your mom is saying? Yes. How? Well, one day when I missed the bus, I just stayed home and ran errands with Janine and her daughter. Um... And we went to... I, Why didn't they just take you to school? I didn't want to go to school. Um, okay. But throughout that day, we went to a hotel. I don't know the name of the hotel, but um, <clears throat> there was a, a lady. I forgot her name, but um, she worked for Janine. Worked for Janine She was having what? car problems. Yeah, but how do you know what she did for Janine? I didn't. 
Okay, so what is it that led you from that encounter to to believe that she worked for Janine? Um, because they weren't they weren't friends or they aren't friends. So I didn't. It looked like an employer employee relationship. Okay, and what was happening with the quote employee? Well, she was having car problems, I guess. And she was in a hotel. Yes. And Janine went over there to do what? Um, take her to a car dealership. If I can, I have a I have a text message from Amari. She messaged me on Instagram, and it completely, I don't know, I don't know what she's feeding Amari, but it's, it's something totally different. Do you want me to see it? I'm sorry about it all. Had I not asked to stay, my mom wouldn't have felt welcome to come. Boom. In any event. You have some kind of website, you pimping girls? Are you serious? No, I have a five-year-old no, daughter. I have to ask it, because it's been accused, and I want to give you a chance to defend yourself. Go ahead. Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. I have a really broad cosmic question. Are people generally grateful or ungrateful by nature? I think people are generally grateful by nature, um, but I think there are some people that... Um... Clearly some people aren't, but as yeah. a rule, yeah, are absolutely. they grateful or ungrateful? Um, they're probably usually ungrateful. Uh, so you're, too, you're too young to say that. <laughs> you can say that when you're 30. Yeah. What do you say? I think they're ungrateful in most situations because of what all that we have in America. I think sometimes people just think that we have it and we deserve it. Fair enough. Going inside the courtroom. I have a five-year-old daughter, Yarn. I'm offended because, like I said, I've known Tierica since her youngest daughter was two. I've, I've helped her with groceries for Did her you food. at one point have such a thing going? At one point in my past life, before I had my daughter, up until the time my son was 13, he's 20 now, I was an escort, y'all, and I'm, t I'm being honest. I was. Okay. I did. Right. But you're getting awful insulted for someone who just said what you just said. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm being so, honest. So you feel that you were... Okay. So yeah, that's why... She didn't, she didn't... It didn't come out of whole cloth. It came out of whatever fear, but without any evidence of no, that she happening knew, she now. Knew about, she knew about my lifestyle way back then. Clearly. She knew about it no, back then. No, she says it. She okay, says yeah. she knew, but I just want to know if she was lying about that. No, but, she's not lying about okay. it way back then. She's lying right, about let's it stop. now. Let's stop. So is there any evidence of the damages? And I have videos. I have videos on my couch and I have videos of my daughter's recliner and I have seen, I have witnessed her and her middle child horse playing, throwing themselves on my sectional. My legs, the, the legs are broken off of it. Okay, so that's the leg. It's a close-up of the leg. of the leg, mm -hmm. and can't that just be screwed back in? I tried. That's the reason why we took. Okay, the so I did you? What are you visit. suing for for the couch? You're suing for seven hundred dollars. What would the repair of the leg cost? I don't know. I don't know either. All right. Um, did you have a second video? This is my daughter's recliner. You see, it's laying back, and it comes from her her middle daughter and her youngest daughter sitting in it and leaning back on the back two legs. Okay. All right, and then, uh, I had according to you, you have a counterclaim against her for a flash drive. So I still did not recover the SD drive from Samsung that I have the FedEx tracking that's in there where Where's it was delivered. Where's the drive? Because you signed for the drive. I did, I did not sign for anything. And okay, it was, show me the Yeah, the it's FedEx. in there. It states that it, it was, was, not, it was it, left at her my, home. My son said he, it was left at the door, but it was not a drive. It was it's a an SD SIM card. card. Well, where is it? I have no idea. 256 gig. Samsung SD card, the receipt, and I, I pulled it idea. up on the website to show you the value. Oh, you called them in time to try to get them not to send the flash I, drive right. there, and they said it too, too late. Too late. So you accepted the flash drive. Nope, I did not. You do not she see my delivery. signature anywhere. Okay. Do you have a signature for it? Um, no, they just showed no. that they had delivered it to her home. Okay. Well, this is no. there's no signature for it. This was left at the door, according to FedEx. It was left. Yeah, but look at what you're looking at her like you won. I'm just. I'm like, just yeah, at 10:14, it was left at your door. Then I asked my son. I said, "Did you see a package here for her?" He said, "Yeah, it was a SIM card." I said, "Where is it?" He said, "I don't know." Well, how does he know what was in the package? He opened it, I guess. Exactly. And he said, and, "All right, well, you know." And the carpet, Your Honor. My cats were all crate, all of my animals are crate trained. I have pictures in there of her cats on the table. Oh, please. You're speaking to a pet owner. Don't tell me that accidents don't happen. Oh, okay? no, no, they do, but they're crate trained. And well, she would not I, okay. allow them but, to but, be you know, in her if home. If your children are, you know, I'm sure your children are all as lovely as she is. But if your children are leaving the door open, the cat's escaping, the prob that's part of why the problems are brewing, and, you know, whatever, I, you know, don't, don't tell me that your pets are, are you know, A-OK -okay and never have a weak moment, or I just, I don't, I'm not going to buy it. Let's go through this. 
As for the child's broken recliner, I am awarding you the amount. The air mattress, I am not. As for the, leaving the cats there for 30 days, I am awarding $200. As for the carpet cleaning, I am awarding $151.34. And the broken couch, $700. That's just a figure brought out of fresh air. As for the flash drive, I'm going to deduct from the above amount that I've just been discussing the amount of the flash drive. And when I do all that math, that leaves a net judgment in the plaintiff's favor, not in the amount that she's asking for of $1,500, but instead the amount of $222.33. On your lawsuit against her, I'm finding in your favor on the flash drive, and that's why I deducted it from her recovery. That is my verdict. Good luck, folks. Well, after a rather complicated case involving charges, counter charges, restraining orders, and a number of other things, you end up with 200 and some dollars. You were suing for $1,546. Right. How do you feel? I feel frustrated, but don't help out nobody. Don't let you nobody know, live I mean, with a you. lot of people can sympathize with you. Boy, I, you, no kidding. It, 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 was, it was a mess. It was a highly good mess, yes. Yeah. All right. Think yeah. you've learned anything from all of this? Don't let nobody live with you. No matter what type of struggles they're struggling, let them struggle on their own. They will figure it out, kids and all. All righty. Well, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here comes the defendant now, Ms. Denning. I don't know. How do you feel about what... I mean, this is some other story. It's a lot you know, of story. I'm just so glad to be over with this. Um, you know, if she needs the 200, I'd rather give her 200 than my 18-year-old to prostitute. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. You must sign a few documents, and that'll bring this case to a close. Harvey? Okay, I mean, look, Doug, you got to set limits. When you let somebody move in with you, there have to be rules. Who can move in? What pets can move in? What the rules are? you got to establish it at the beginning. And that will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.